Have you ever felt like no one understands what you're going through when you're trying to get fit? Well, this show is going to help you know that you are not only known, seen, and heard, but you are also not alone. Hey, Fit Sister in Christ, welcome back to another episode of the Strong Confident His podcast. You know, one of the hardest things about fitness is that you can feel like you're all alone. And like every meal, every workout just feels like another thing that you have to do and like your own motivation and your own power. And it can just feel so defeating, right? Well, today I'm going to share stories from women who have found hope and answers in God through the Strong Confident His podcast through my books and my strong, confident, his faith and fitness devotional. I'm so excited to share this because not only are you going to be motivated and encouraged, you're going to walk away with some answers and know that you're not alone. I think it's so encouraging when we know that other people have felt like we do and they've gotten to the other side, right? There's nothing like a good testimonial, a good success story to make us just go, wow, that works. Okay. So Psalm 105, one and two are our foundational scriptures. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds amongst the people, sing to him, sing praises to him, tell of all his wondrous works. That is what we're doing here today. Friend, if you have a fit God's way, a 10 steps to fit faith inspired transformation story, a strong, confident, his faith and fitness devotional story. I want to hear it because these stories help other women know the power of God in their fitness. And they are so, so helpful. Okay. That's what we need to do. We need to make known his deeds and I can't wait to share your story. Okay. So today I am doing that. I'm making known God's deeds, sharing what God has done through real life stories. We found hope. We find hope, inspiration, and motivation. There's nothing like knowing that like someone got through exactly what you're going through, right? Like I get so inspired when I'm trying to learn something and I see someone else doing it really well. I'm like, how did you do that? I want to know how you did that. How, you know, maybe like when I was first trying to lose weight or when I was trying to get my confidence back during certain times of my life or learn how to do a podcast or whatever it is, knowing someone else was originally like on that other side. And then they got to the other side. It just makes us feel so encouraged. Right. So learning the importance of God in this is paramount because finding in our identity in him, finding our health and wholeness in him is the answer. So many of us have been missing. Right. So before I share a transformation story, I have to share drum roll, exciting news. My fit God's way course is going to be coming available very soon. So make sure you go to kimdolanletto.com forward slash newsletter to get signed up because I want you to be the first to know I'm only going to probably be taking so many people because we're going to be doing it all together. It's going to be 30 days. We're going to go all in all together. We're going to have our own little support group. Um, and I, I just really want this to be an awesome time for you and I to dig in the trenches trenches and go through these life-changing frameworks that I have this step-by-step -step system that is really going to change everything for you and your fitness, because so many people think it's about the workout. It's about the food. It's all about our mindset and our mindset needs to be in Christ. And he is going to walk this out with us. Okay. So make sure that you're signed up at kimdolanletto.com forward slash newsletter. And I can't wait to see you in that course. Okay. I'm going to start with, um, a story about a, a woman sent this to me and I will never forget. I was standing in my kitchen. Her name is Wendy Vance. And when I read her story, I, I was speechless. Okay. Speechless. All right. So I'm literally going to just share what she shared with me with, of course, she gave me her permission. Wendy writes, Kim, I want you to know that I came across your videos one day when I came to a point in my life, I needed to lose weight, but in a Christian way. I have cirrhosis of the liver and a, sh a shunt in my liver, Parkinson's, gastritis, gastroparesis, colitis, diabetes, lymphedema, and these are all my major issues. I ordered one of your books and started watching your videos right away. This is what I have learned. 
read the Bible every day, pray every day, multiple times, put God in your exercise program, put God in your grocery shopping, put God in your meal prepping, put God in your cooking. Since March 23rd of 2023, now she sent this to me eight months later, okay? I have lost 50 pounds. I just, I literally sat in my kitchen and just, I had tears in my eyes reading this, okay? She said, I'm not doing it to look good. I'm doing it to cure some of my medical problems and to be able to serve God better. I am a nursery worker at our church and a youth group leader. I need to be healthy to serve God in these areas. I wake up with joy every day to start my day with God. Thank you so much, Kim. I am so happy that I came across your videos. I have to... I have to hardly take insulin shots anymore. Just at bedtime, I can sleep in my bed lying down now without crushing myself for my weight. No more sleeping in my recliner. You guys, this is huge. Can you believe this? Okay. She goes on to say that she just did her first 5k and she never thought it was possible. You guys, this is huge. 50 pounds of weight loss just because she added God into it. Now that sounds like just because that, that makes, I should have said, shouldn't have said it that way. It makes it sound like a small thing. I think it's something that we think, how could that work? But you, you guys, it does. Okay. So listen to Virginia's story. Her story will touch your heart, especially if you were bullied or if you have children who are being bullied. Okay. Kim, I just want to thank you for being such an inspiration to me. I struggle with my weight since I was a child and I was bullied at school for many years. Although I looked okay from the outside, inside I was so sad and had very low self-esteem. I grew up Catholic and loved the Lord, but I was told that God only cares about our spiritual lives. So things like fitness were considered vain. In the summer of 2014, while watching TV, I find Jesus and gave my life to him. About two years later, I was watching the 700 club on YouTube. I found you through your book. I learned that God cares about everything. I also have found a passion for running. I absolutely love to work out now. And I know that I can pursue my fitness goals without condemnation and do it all for God's glory. Thanks to you. I am not going to cry. Okay. Literally you guys, this is so emotional for me because I was, you know, I see myself in so many people. I was actually listening to a marketing seminar and I have really struggled with this where it's like, I feel like the enemy tells me like, well, who are you to do what you're doing? And in this marketing seminar, this gentleman said, you are the perfect person to teach the person you used to be how to get through what you got through. And that has just fueled my faith so much. So I want you to think whatever it is, it's not too small friend. What you, God has brought you through. You need to tell of his deeds because someone needs to hear it. Someone needs to hear it. It gives another person hope. Okay. So if you feel today, like you're too old or it's too late, let Tony's story inspire you that it's not. Okay. This is what she says. Hi, Kim. I was so frustrated with losing a pound here, gaining a pound here, nickel and diming my way to good health. And of course the word the, I was hoping to lose. I Googled Christian author weight loss and your name popped up. I ordered your book on audible so I could listen to it while I'm working, driving, or just whatever. I listened to it probably eight times in completion. Even my husband listened to part of it while we were driving up to North Carolina. Um, I found nothing that I did not completely agree with and did not find impossible to do. I signed up at the YMCA. Now listen to these numbers. Okay. And rolling was my exercise of choice other than walking. I am 74, which I can't believe she writes yikes and little emojis. I roll between two and 3000 meters about three times a week. I just watched the weight fall off. It was unbelievable, unbelievable following your principles. I have logged my meals since I started on May 25th. I was around 164 ish. And this morning I'm 138 pounds. Oh my goodness. Like that is so huge. Okay. Um, I even have your name as a contact and my address book on my phone. And I make notes of the things that you have encouraged me with. And I follow the guidelines. Every time I see something that I know I need to remember, such as stop eating my emotions, 
I just refer to that Kim Dolan Leto contact and I read and refresh myself in the knowledge that I gleaned from your book. Thank you so much. I, um, what did she go on to say? Thank you so much. I will see if my church group wants to get started and actually do this program with me. I know everybody wants a quick fix. I know I did. And we have to, we have to be able to know that God doesn't want that. He wants us to be, um, he doesn't care about our comfort. And she says, she goes on to say, uh, this is a long email. So I'm kind of short shortening it. She goes on to say, I'm a caterer and I do conferences, especially women's conferences. And we will see what happens because she wants to lead other women through this. Thank you for your ministry. I'm eternally grateful to you, Tony. God, God was the game changer. So I'm a here as a vessel sharing with you that he has your answer. Her answers, she listened to it and she found what she needed and took and did what she needed to do. And she lost like 40 pounds of weight at 74. You guys, that is huge. Okay. So if you need community and confidence, listen to Ruby. I just have a few left, but this is so, I feel like sometimes that is really what's missing. Okay. Kim, you have most definitely helped me with my confidence and getting in my word in the word more than ever. My journey is so much easier living in God's word then the different challenges you give are so rewarding. Having someone working right along with you, leading and guiding each step takes the guesswork out. I get your emails on Facebook and YouTube. I really have been enjoying them. That just fills my heart because we need to know, we need to be in the Fit Sisters in Christ group. We need to be watching the videos. We need to be listening to the Strong Confident His podcast. And I can't wait to do the course with you because I know that a lot of you need that additional frame, the frameworks, the system, you need the day to day, you need to build out your actual like plan so you can see it in your life and how to do it. And you need those tools and they're absolutely life-changing. Okay. Uh, Vicki shares this and it's important because maybe for you, you're listening and you're like, I'm not any of those people. Maybe this is you. Maybe you need to invite Jesus into your fitness. So listen to what Vicki shares, Kim. Your ministry are a tremendous blessing to me, wise and good and godly counsel. Mm, like you guys, this, this is like emotional for me, loving, kind, and caring, but firm. I have your books and I have done your studies. I have listened to your podcast from the beginning. I now listen on my drive to work. I hope you're listening now, Vicki, big, big hug. Okay. Uh, many times I have a comment or a thought or a prayer, but can't post because I'm driving. I've watched a few exercise videos, but like you tell us, we have to get our mind right before anything else. And above all, invite Jesus to the fight. Please know what a great gift and blessing you are to me. And so many, I highly recommend women take a look and listen to you, what you have going on. God bless you. How sweet is that? I love how she said, above all, we need to invite Jesus to the fight. I know someone needed to hear that because maybe you tried everything, but you haven't tried Jesus. Okay. Not in this. All right. And lastly, if you feel de defeated and have a tendency to self-sabotage or feel like why bother trying again, it's not going to work. Listen to Tamara. She just sent me this email and I, I just, it like, I felt so overwhelmed. It's very emotional to me because I feel like God did this. And this, he did it through the podcast. He did it through the books. And I know someone else has a dream, has things they want to do, and they're not doing it. Friend, do it, do it and go tell the whole world that, you know, look at what God has done because he can do a work in you that will just, it'll bring you so much joy. And that's what I want for you. Okay. Let's listen to Tamara and then we're going to wrap up. Okay. Kim, I've read both of your books since November, and I just want to thank you. You have encouraged me so much and the Lord has answered my prayers through your ministry. I have felt so, so defeated in my health since last year, especially, but I have been dieting most of my life. I was starting each day with good intentions and then diving into gluttony and self-sabotage every afternoon or in the middle of the night. I want to pause right now and just say, I know someone needed to hear that. Like, as I said that, I know someone needed to know they're not the only person that you know, maybe that's you. Okay. No guilt, just grace. Okay. All right. 
I would say, I'm going back to what Tamara said. I would say, I can't trust myself. I can't do this. Why does it matter? I'll just fail again. I would work out a few weeks and not see any results. So I'd quit and binge on all the foods I avoided. I tried Weight Watchers, Carnivore, Daniel, Daniel Plan. I idolized food and numbers and they always failed me and left me a mess. Then I Googled something like weight loss, spiritual battle, Christian. I'm not sure exactly, but in, I knew this was a spiritual battle for me. And I found your website. I kept seeing God's truth all over it. I was skeptical and trying to see if this was just another empty promise filled scheme, but I just kept seeing hope in scriptures. Wow. This is emotional. I bought your newest book, started listening to some of your podcasts and bought your first book too. I haven't lost a ton of weight yet, but I have my faith goals and I'm free of food idolatry and enjoying my fit power hour every day. I'm working out and worshiping and I don't have a fear of failing anymore because I'm not doing this in my willpower. I'm leaning, learning to be safe and surrender my appetite faithfully every day, multiple times a day. I know I'll reach my goal in September, 20, September, 2024. I've already had some failures, but I repent and receive grace. I didn't fail and beat myself up and lay awake and guilt and defeat. Like I used to, I just surrendered it to the Lord again and remembered he was with me and my goal was still there and I'm still going to reach it. I know someone just needed to hear that. It's so beautiful. She goes on to say, my motives have totally shifted for my fitness goals. I'm so excited to be fit for his calling and to testify to what he is doing in me. I don't have Facebook. So I just wanted to email you to let you know how thankful I am about your website. When it popped up, when I Googled for help, I had prayed for help for a long time and the Lord used you to help me. I'll be faithful girl. I'll share Jesus too. your sister in Christ Jesus, our Lord, Tamara. Wow. Okay. Woo. My heart is so full hearing that. Okay. And I'm, I'm not saying I'm anything important. It's God. It was all God that did that. It is God working in us to do what we cannot do alone. Okay. It's the healing work of Jesus and his hope. Okay. So I'm going to, um, share some faith fuel and then pray for us that, you know, the reason I wanted to share this is because sometimes I think we don't think that what we're doing is making a difference and just putting this episode together showed me, no, this is the power of God in him. We have power and authority and we need to walk in it. And I want you to do that this year. Okay. All right. Psalm 66, 16 says, come and hear all you who fear God. And I will tell you what he has done for my soul. Go tell somebody today what God has done for you. Okay. Psalm 107, two says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom he has redeemed from trouble. What has God redeemed you from? Tell someone else we need to help people get saved and know Jesus. Okay. I was inspired to write a quote for this episode. Here it is. We get saved, but then we forget that God wants to save us from ourselves. Woo. That was a word in, in, a t in due season. I'm going to say it again. We get saved, but then we forget that God wants to save us from ourselves. Don't just get saved and have that moment with Jesus where you got baptized. He wants to save you from yourself every day, and you can only save yourself in his power. Uh, the devil wants to defeat you, okay? Right now, whether you're trying to eat right, work out, uh, lead your family, but whatever it is, you have an enemy. We have an enemy, and he wants to defeat us. Don't let him defeat you, okay? Tell people what God has done. Rejoice. Pick yourself up in grace. Know that there isn't a finish line, okay? As long as we're here in this world, we don't have a finish line, okay? So where did you need, what did you need to hear today? Was it Wendy's story of 50 pounds of weight loss in just months through surrendering it to God daily and all her choices and who completed a 5K before she couldn't even sleep in her bed? She had to sleep in a, rec in a recliner because she was crushing herself. Thank you, Lord, right? Or maybe you were bullied like a child and you, for how you looked and you grew up feeling like fitness was vain. Listen to Virginia's story, who has since found God in her fitness and is now free. What a beautiful story. Or what about Tony, who maybe you think you're too old and it's too late and she's lost, she's not only gotten healthy, she's 74 and she went from 174 to 138 pounds in months. That's crazy. Those, I mean, only God can do this kind of stuff. Maybe you need community and confidence like Ruby, or you need to invite Jesus into your fitness like Vicki. Okay. Whatever it is, friend, I pray to God that this helps you know that you're not alone. Whatever story it was, maybe a story wasn't shared that you're like, 
Kim needs to hear my story. And friend, I want to hear it. Send it to me. Okay. Info at kimdolanleto.com. I want to share your story because it brings God glory. It's not me. It's him. It's I, I'm just sharing it, right? Share what he's done in your life too. And before we, I pray, I want to just say, if you have found this helpful, please go sign up right now at kimdolanleto.com newsletter, because I'm going to be leading you through a fit God's way course. This course is going to give you the frameworks that you've been missing. Okay. Just a reminder. All right. I'm going to pray God. We are so honored and blessed that we get to see your work in our lives. Father, I, I pray for every woman listening who was affected by these conversations, who is dealing with the same things that these lovely women who you helped get to the other side, father, I pray that you help them, help them see you working in their lives and help them know that you're there. And that if they want to hear from you, all they have to do is open your word, open up that Bible, get in the word with you and and just spend time walking this out with you. That is the answer that so many of us need and are missing. And God, you are faithful and you are good. And we can't wait to share what you have done, Father. I can't wait to celebrate other stories and other women. And, and I just pray for the woman right now who needed this encouragement. Sister, I pray you were blessed. God, I just, I pray for her. I pray for her that she would know you in this God. And thank you so much for this podcast. Thank you for every woman who's wrote in. Thank you for every woman listening. And I just pray blessings over her, her family, her health and her wholeness father in Jesus name. Amen. Sister, if you were blessed by this, please share it. Make sure you're subscribed on YouTube and on Apple and Spotify podcasts, wherever you listen, wherever your favorite platform is. And please know that I am praying for you and I can't wait to celebrate your story. Remember you are strong, confident, his. <laughs>